because what you're doing is obviously on such a grand scale, such a dramatic scale, it's so mind-blowing and almost hard to imagine. But for people watching, what, what can everyday people do to lend a hand to, to migrating birds? What, what are the little things that people can do to help out migratory species? So I suppose that, yeah, depends very much where you are. I mean, a key part of the expeditions is connecting more people to the local NGOs that really know what they're, what they're doing. We struggle a bit if the, if the NGOs don't have, aren't offering opportunities for people to, to engage in it. But I definitely say, I mean, in places like the UK, getting behind any kind of rewilding with whatever name you want to call it. I mean, the lack of habitat, the lack of wild, mixed, potentially untamed looking habitat is a really important thing. The lack of water, the lack of open water, whether it's on farmland um, and the lack of connections of those. So, I mean, for yeah, highly developed countries like the UK, I'd say your back garden could be a really, really, really important place. And don't be afraid of a little bit of a little bit of a wild, untamed, uh, untamed <laughs> spaces there. Um, I have to say, when I first came to the UK, the idea of um, feeding birds and feeding them seeds and fat balls, I was kind of like taken aback by why so many people did that until I realised actually that's because there's so little kind of wild habitat left that this is kind of in a... It's kind of a necessary. I didn't really. People don't. I mean, that people do it in in cities in uh, in uh, in Australia because they like um, crimson rosellas coming onto their balcony. Um, they they like to see them, but not to actually just keep them alive through the winter. Um, so yeah, I say it's different things in different countries, but um, your local birding organisations are, are really going to be the ones. And but inspire youngsters if you can find find an inspirational conservationist or, or, a, or an enthusiast that can get young people's eyes lighting up, get them trying to get inside the heads of birds. Um, that for me is what the wardens did at Slimbridge for me, um, giving me a little insights into the lives. If you can inspire youngsters, then um, that's also a really powerful thing because they're going to take us out of this biodiversity uh, extinction crisis 